Iranian authorities have publicly hanged a 23-year-old protester, the second execution of a prisoner detained amid nationwide anti-government protests. The sentence was carried out less than a month after Majid Riza Rahnavard was convicted of enmity against God for stabbing two police officers. His mother was not told about the execution until after his death. Authorities released this footage. The reason for my hatred of besieges and security forces was the clips published on social media showing them beating and killing people. I watched the clips and believed what I saw was true. According to rights organizations, at least 12 more protesters have been sentenced to death after what they say are sham trials, and many more are at risk, including reportedly the Iranian footballer Amir Nazar Azadani for supporting women's rights in his country. The international community is condemning the killings. Uh, we denounce this draconian treatment in the strongest terms. Uh, these harsh sentences, and now the first public execution at least, uh, are meant to intimidate. Iran's people, they are meant to suppress dissent, uh, and they simply just underscore how much Iran's leadership actually fears its own people. The EU announced fresh sanctions on Iran on Monday, specifically targeting the country's revolutionary guards. We consider unacceptable the use of capital punishment as a tool to repress the, the protesters. In the new package of sanctions for human rights violations, we are targeting those responsible for this continued repression against protesters. Dodging targeted questions about the executions, Iran's foreign ministry spokesman said at his weekly press conference that it's illegal and unproductive for countries to intervene in Iran's domestic affairs. Criticism and protest are allowed in the Islamic Republic of Iran. All citizens can make their views, criticism and even protests heard by officials within laws and regulations. After months of nationwide protests, Iran is now upping the stakes for demonstrators.